Okay, here is what we're doing right now. We've got this uh, piece right here we've made. The epoxy's leaking through on the bottom just a little bit around here. But uh, we put the epoxy on less than five minutes ago. And as you can see, it's all starting to set in around here. It's getting hard already. Epoxy's wonderful stuff. I use five minute epoxy a lot in the shop. One of the things about epoxy is it'll bond between metal and wood. It's one of the few things that will. And it'll make a tight bond to both. So that's what's going to hold that in there and that's what holds the screw. Uh, let's see, this goes in here like Okay, so this top, this is the top, goes in here like this, right here, slides in there like that, then it'll flush, it flushes up, and then there's another piece around here someplace, what did I do with it? This looks like it right here. It's marked three quarter inch on the top, so that goes in there like that to create that sort of a deal. So this has to come back until this is flushed with the top here, like this. There. I believe that's correct. Let me look. Plan. Yeah, that's looking more correct. It's looking more similar to what uh, it's supposed to be on the plan. So uh, there we go. We got to screw that in place like that. So let's uh, put this again in here. Let's mark this here, here, and here, and here. And we'll pop some screws in her to hold her in place. screw in right there I'm gonna make a new make a new spot for that one. There we go. Pretty good. It's pretty good. together earlier but I found out that it was uh, it wasn't together right and it wasn't really my fault I misread the plans just a little bit this time I'm getting it right Now this piece goes in here like this, flush. Okay, so I'm going to put that piece in there like that, and then I'm going to show you the, where the bolt goes in just a minute. Okay, we're further along on the construction now. Uh, all we've got is we've got this piece built in here, it turns rather hard. And that's what we want. We want it to turn hard. It turns but stiff. It's exactly what we want. This piece turns in this way to tighten up. It has quite a bit of play. It's got about maybe three, three or four inches of play there. It'll come back and forth to catch the, the spindle. And this has a couple inches of play inside it. So uh, what we figured is it's 19 and 7 eighths. It's 
So measure from there, that's just about right to fit inside here. And that'll turn, and then the router's going to cut it down here. So what we need to do now is put the pieces in for the, uh, for the slides. And I've got them made. ground right here. There's another one right here. So these pieces go in here like this. One here and one here on the box. So those two pieces have to go on now. That's the next step. So I'll screw them on in place and uh, then the next step is to make the stop and start fitting the router onto it, onto the jig. So this jig is getting about three quarters done now and I think it's going to work pretty good. And it's well worth making because uh, once it's made you can put that spindle in there and you can cut those leg uh, dovetails very quickly and effectively with this. And just basically spin the uh, Spin it and, and cut and spin it and cut and spin it and cut and you got all three done in a matter of maybe a minute or two once this jig's made. So it's very well worth making. So there we go. The jig's about three quarters done. It's looking good. So we're going to start finishing it up now. Okay, we're getting this little jig almost complete. Uh, how it works is <clears throat> this screw goes in and holds the thing and allows it to spindle to turn and the router plunges down through and cuts the dovetails in the uh, this type of jig's been around a lot of times a lot of uh, it's been around and around it's uh, been used a lot of times to cut this type of, uh, of, a, of a thing in the wood so it just slides the router slides in place like this to cut the dovetail it's a sliding channel and you turn this to turn the spindle. And as you turn the spindle, the, uh, the dovetail slides down the spindle, cutting the dovetail into the spindle. And it works real nice. Uh, so uh, what we need to do right now is we need to plug this rotor in and we need to cut through. Let me see. She'll, she should plunge. Yeah, she, she's going to plunge. And as she plunges, she's going to plunge through that wood right there. And I'm going to turn her on. She's going to plunge through that wood. Let me see if I've got it on film. And she's going to make a hole right through there. So let me plug this router in. And we'll watch her do that. She's going to make a little bit of noise make a little bit of a loud noise so prepare yourself maybe lower your speakers a little bit where's the switch for this baby out oh, here it is if that's deep enough. If not, I'm going to have to take that plate off and I'll have to cut the hole a little bit bigger. I'm hoping it's deep enough though. Well, we'll see. It looks to me like it might be deep enough. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. The collet is down on the wood right here. So if it's not deep enough, we're going to have to take this face plate off, take it over and cut a little bit bigger collet hole. I might do that anyway. I think I will. I think I'll mark it, take the face plate off and cut a little bit bigger uh, column hole. But now you can see how the thing works. It slides back and forth like this. Cutting as it goes. You just slide it back and forth and it cuts the dovetail. There we go. I like the way it works. It's a good jig, and uh, it went together rather quickly, and uh, I like the way it looks.